Friday, and it's a fabulous one indeed. Today is March 22nd, and welcome to Watch That's Weekends. I'm your host, Kimberly Perot, and on today's show, we've got Park City Film with Katie Wang. What is happening this weekend? And then earlier in the week, Gretchen and I got into the kitchen, and we made a cashew salted caramel milk. Quite delicious, and it's a fun one to watch. Plus, the brand new series on BET Plus called Diera from Detroit. So check it out, but before all of that gets started, let's take a look at the weather. Park City Film has so much happening, and Katie Wang makes sure that it is a curated and incredible collection of films. So I had a conversation with her about what is happening this weekend. You know what time it is. It is time for our weekly update with Park City Film. I've got Katie Wang joining me today to talk all things that are happening this weekend and beyond. Katie, how are you? Great to be here. I'm well. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Great to be here. Well, first of all, I want to say congratulations on your film selection because Emma Stone won Best Actress for Poor Things and you just recently aired it. So uh, great job. We, that just shows that you are on the mark when it comes to selecting films. So what have you selected for this weekend? Um, so this weekend is a film that was actually France's uh, submission to the Academy for Best International Film. Did not make the final cut, which I think was, you know, a travesty, but that's another conversation <laughs> for another day, I suppose. Um, but it's called The Taste of Things. Uh, the director is An Huang Tran, who is Vietnamese, but Vietnamese French. Um, he did The Scent of Green Papaya, if you're familiar with that film. And it is just this beautiful, captivating foodie film like no other foodie film you have seen, I think, in recent years. Uh, it stars Juliette Binoche, Benoit Magamel, um, and they are living in this, of course, beautiful French chateau. He's a gourmand. She is his cook. And they have this amazing relationship that they've developed over the past 20 years of just cooking these fabulous dishes that are just out of this world. So definitely eat dinner before you come see the movie, because you'll be starving <laughs> at the end, if not. Um, but you can see as they're relationship has developed over time they're kind of entering their twilight years and you know he is they've been lovers over the course of time but she's never wanted to marry him and so he says okay this is my final bid to get you to be my wife and he decides to cook for her which he's never done over the course of the 20 years so it's just it's, it's kind of hard to describe just how enveloping and immersive this film is um but it is unlike a film, any other film I have seen this year and just beautifully captivating, as I said, and the storytelling is exceptional. Um, so I highly recommend it, of course, for this weekend. Uh, you can see it Friday and Saturday at 7, Sunday at 6. And I do want to thank Rick Catoni, who's one of our film patrons who loves uh, in underwriting our international films in particular. So if you are a lover of French cinema, this is extraordinaire. So <laughs> Well, I, that sounds like every person's dream who does not want to be wooed by having somebody cook for them. So that's wonderful. So you have other exciting things happening as well so what what's the latest and greatest yeah so next week we're partnering with park city reads pc reads <clears throat> um, and they are uh, one of our longtime partners here in Park City, and we're showing a film called The Disruptors, and it's about uh, people living with ADHD. And interestingly, I mean, I have neurodiverse people in my family, I'm neurodiverse myself, um, but it is one of the most often diagnosed neurological differences, mm -hmm. but it is also widely misunderstood, widely stigmatized. And so what the film does beautifully, I think, is capture the challenges of living with ADHD and having a family with people in it that have ADHD, but also what are these amazing opportunities of having a brain that looks at the world a different way? So you hear from astronauts, we'll hear from musicians, entrepreneurs, people that have been wildly successful in their lives, 
because they are able to solve problems, to come up with creative ideas in ways that neurotypical people have traditionally not been able to. So it's kind of a celebration, but also, you know, bounded in reality, right? It's not without its challenges as well, being neurodiverse. Um, so we'll have a panel discussion discussion after the film to help unpack all of that with folks that are experts in ADHD, people that are living with ADHD, advocates. Um, so it'll really be a great evening to kind of do a deep dive into this learning difference that affects so many people, so many of our children, so many adults, particularly women that are under underdiagnosed in our community. Um, tickets are free. It's at seven o'clock on Thursday, the 28th, but they are still going quickly. So if you do want to come join us, please register at parkcityfilm.org to make sure that you have a seat and can be part of that conversation. Well, that conversation is definitely important to be had. I know I have family members that have ADHD as well. And, you know, it's a conversation that we don't talk about and we just kind of slap it on as a diagnosis. So uh, very interesting conversation there. Well, Katie, where else can we go for more information? Uh, do you have any volunteer opportunities that are coming up? Yes, um, so parkcityfilm.org is where you can get all your information on screenings. You can get tickets in advance. We certainly have tickets available at the door an hour before each posted showtime. Um, under our volunteer tab in the upper right-hand corner, you can check out our schedule and see what times might work for you to come and help us make popcorn and sell tickets, take surveys, do all that kind of fun stuff. It's about 70 minutes of your time, and then you get to see the film for free, which is always fun. Um, of course, sponsorship and member opportunities. Um, I do want to give a little bit of a plug out. It's a little farther out, but April 11th, we are hosting, we are just announcing, um, an evening with Kevin Pierce. So folks uh, locally may remember Kevin Pierce, pro snowboarder, um, suffered a traumatic brain injury in 2008 at Park City Mountain Resort. There was a great film called The Crash Wheel that came out about a documentary. Um, but Kevin is living this incredible full life now as a completely different trajectory than what he had planned. And he's coming to town to show some clips from the film and talk about his journey from pro snowboarder to, um, you know, parent and advocate uh, where he is now in his life. So it'll be kind of fun to see chapter two of Kevin Pierce, um, someone that's known quite well to all of us here locally. And tickets are on sale now at parkcityfilm.org and help benefit our partner, Live Like Sam, awesome. uh, which is Summer Love Storyline, if you're familiar with that organization. Absolutely. I love Live, Live Like Sam, you know, great organization and a great partnership as well. So that's April 11th. And so we'll make sure that we are bringing that up and, and letting people know about it. Absolutely. So parkcityfilm.org, you can get lots of information and we have more films that we're booking all the time. Um, but you can kind of plan that out, plan out your weekend schedule um, here for the spring and come see some great films with us. Absolutely. And I know you're probably getting very busy planning out the summer schedule, which always has some really fun things happening. So Katie, thanks for all that you do for supporting the community and the incredible partnerships that you have and, and beyond. So we really appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Always great to be here. Now stay tuned. We've got a bit more left with the show. We'll be right back after this. Now Gretchen and I, we're in the kitchen and we make a salted caramel cashew milk from scratch. So let's take a look. Well, here we are, switching it up today. I've got Gretchen in the kitchen with me. So are you very nervous? Exciting. No, nervous. I'm not nervous. I can get anybody to do I know. Piece it's of true. cake. <laughs> we have to laugh a little bit because Kim is very good at cooking and doing all the things. Gretchen here, not so much, but I am learning. So this is a good show for everyone, whether you're um, very good at cooking in the kitchen or you're a little bit like me and still learning. So it's there we true. go. <laughs> well, I try to select recipes that yeah. are easy to replicate at home, yeah. that are quick in the kitchen and that you can just get it done. And this and one makes, I love too. And it makes everybody feel like they are an expert in doing a little like extra this. pizzazz to whatever they're doing in the kitchen. <laughs> so today, yes. this is a fun one. We're making a homemade salted caramel cashew milk, which it sounds interesting, but you know, if you're trying to avoid like dairy, sometimes yes. having a nut milk is a good way to do it. And this is a great and easy, easy, easy recipe to and make. And you can save some uh, dollars on the recipe as well, because if you go to some of your local coffee shops and get this all the time, which we love local and it's, you need to support, but I could save some money. With true. This. I mean, That's you can good. even start a nut milk stand or whatever, you know, we're in summertime. Hey, There's always I ways like to that. be an entrepreneur <laughs> and to be a business owner. So what I love about this recipe is that most likely you probably have most of these ingredients in your pantry yes. so you there are certain ways you can kind of spice it up it only takes about two to three minutes to make in totality okay so we'll just go ahead and get started so it involves simple ingredients water cashews 
cool. key ingredient there. Oh, yeah. And then some sort of sweetener. You can use dates, but if you don't have dates, you can use like agave or honey. And we're going to go ahead and make it with I some like agave that. just so you can kind of see what that's like. And then some sea salt as well. And you don't have to put as much into it, especially if your nuts are salted, but you want to try to buy unsalted nuts. So okay. I literally had all of this in my pantry and we're just going to whip it together. I love that because I was just thinking I have all of it except for the cashews. Yeah. So that's and brilliant. So yeah. Now you might just keep your cashews on hand, <laughs> piece of cake. I so like we're going to go ahead and get started. This makes about two liters okay. of cashew milk and it actually also stays in your fridge for about a week. You'll probably go through it pretty quickly um, once you try it. It's quite delicious. So we'll go ahead and get started. We need about one and a half cups of cashews. So I'm going to okay. let you get go ahead and measure it out. Okay. We've got um, one and a half cups of cashews. So these are unsalted cashews. Hopefully this will be just enough. It'll probably be about a jar. So you do three of these. You can just pour it over here if you want to. And it's okay if it's not perfect. Okay. Yeah, we'll just kind of guesstimate. I that, think that's That's probably about a half a cup. So okay. we'll just keep pouring it all in there. Just keep going. And the best part about using... Let's, let's yeah, do it all. Why not? Do it all. There's no <laughs> there point saving it. we got a little bit left in there. I'll just dump it all in. So cashews are great because other nut milks, sometimes you have to soak the nuts overnight. Okay. But with cashews, optional, don't have to do it. It creates a nice creamy texture as okay. well as like, um, like kind of like a coconut milk. So you just dump the whole thing so in. So basically we're dumping all of that in here and then awesome. we're going to add about six cups of water. So we okay. actually have, and this is cold water, so you want to make sure that it's cold. We've got it all measured out. You know, we couldn't fit six cups in our carafe. That's why, so yeah. We've got the excess in this other cup here. So we're just dumping all of the water into the, uh, into the food processor blender. And what's great about cashew milk, it, it's supposed to be creamy, so we don't have to strain this at all, unlike other milks when you're making it from scratch. So awesome. this looks great. Then we are going to add about, um, we're going to do about half a teaspoon of salt. So we've okay. got some salt here. And it, you should use a good sea salt. I love this brand of salt. You can, you can actually, yeah, you Let's can do see. it either way you need to do it. You can take the lid off. There I get you. nervous that way, Kim. I've done that you're, the best you're crushing Oh, it. here we just go. Like we'll just go like yeah. this. And it's okay if it's a little salted because this is a salted caramel. Oh, yeah. Milk, we right? want this. I love this brand of salt. This is the Redmond's Real Salt. Oh, I've had yeah. this before. This, this is, is my really favorite. Good. I actually order it directly if it's not in the stores and I have it shipped to me. And this is the only salt. Do you think that that's enough? Good. That's good. Uh, I think that's great for okay. salt. And then we're going to do about a half a cup of agave. Okay. So we'll go ahead and add that in. And we'll just kind of add the agave Yum. in. It'll be nice and sweet. Now, if you were doing it with dates, um, you can pour a little bit more in okay. there. Okay. I feel like very, very Vanna White right yeah, now. There you I'm go. Like, She's hey. looking great. This, well, this is your Thanks, area Kim. of expertise. This is what you do, right? You do the modeling. You show off the goods. It's great. It's wonderful. I love you. And pretty soon I'll learn how to cook because hey, of Kim. I like you it. are learning it. And then we're actually going to put about one. Um, we've got one, te one half a teaspoon. We're going to put it like. Oh, cool. We'll just kind of estimate. I'll tell you when. Okay. Yeah. I, I trust you. To me, I like the more vanilla, the better, in my opinion. Agreed. And most things. So I would, yeah. Oh, cool. sorry. You can just dump it all in there. there. Just straight in there. Should I do a little just more? Just do a little more. Yeah. I'll tell you when. Good. Okay. <laughs> that'll work. <laughs> we are going to rock and roll. You said you like the vanilla, so I, do. I did you the know, vanilla. And honestly, it will give a great flavor to it regardless. You can never go wrong with too much vanilla. I agree. So the best part about this is, is like, we're just going to blend it for two to three minutes. That's so and easy. And then that is literally the easiest. So we're going to go ahead and I have a fancy Ninja blender that I love I to love use. I love this. Okay. It's similar to like a Vitamix. It, it does about the same thing. So we're just going to go ahead and blend it. And apologies for the kitchen noises. I know, we'll we talk go. very loud. <laughs> Oh, oh, we're spilling it all over the place. You know, that's okay because it's we part did, of the fun of cooking. We did put a lot of water into it and we'll just kind of blend it nice and well. Yep, we'll pulse it out a little bit. Well, and I think that's the fun thing about cooking, right? Is like you kind of have to just, like you said, it's sometimes fun not to always measure everything and just throw things in there. That's true. Know? And we'll just kind of keep blending it together and it'll just look great. And we'll, uh, we'll drink it, test it out, and see how it looks. But I'm excited. We're spilling it all over the place because we put a little bit too much in the food Happy processor. spring. But, you know, that's exactly right. Oh, and it's National Laugh Day or Comedy Day, right? It is National Let's Have a Laugh Day. And we're having a laugh. So we're just going to keep blending it and blending it. It looks pretty good. It looks great. We'll just sit here and I love hang it. out, blend it. You can see it spinning. <laughs> hey, we're doing well. I'm proud. You can check out the consistency. So, Kim, there. let me ask you one question. Sure. How will we know when it is about done? Because As that's a you're just you know. going to blend it. Like usually, you blend it for about two minutes, okay. two or three minutes, and then it'll uh, and then it'll be ready to go. And if you don't like the consistency, you can always strain it out. Oh, cool. Uh, okay, but it should turn out pretty good here. 
And then if you wanted it to not turn a, a, like a brownish color, yeah. you can use a clear vanilla. Oh, yeah, cool. Okay. Too. And I it's use awesome. all the vanilla, yeah. so it's going to be exactly. We're just blending it. Yum. I'm excited. It, it smells, smells very vanilla <laughs> It smells wonderful. It smells like salted caramel, cashew milk. It really does. I'm excited yes. about it. Well, and I didn't realize how easy it is. This is so simple. All right, let's see here. And for people that might not have this kind of a heavy duty at home, because I have just a regular blender, totally okay. it's the same exact Yeah, situation. just throw okay. it into the blender, and then if you wanted to strain it to make it a little bit of a better texture, you can strain it through like a cheesecloth. Okay. If you don't even have a cheesecloth, you can put a paper towel into the liner of like your pasta strainer. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what I've done at So times, you can do this anyway. You don't need to have that. You don't it, have yeah. to have the most expensive blender to do it. I'm like, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's looking good. So we're going to blend it just a little bit more. Okay. Just to get it going. I'm excited to try this. And I think it looks about let's done. Let's see what it looks like. What do we think? It looks like cashew milk, for sure, <laughs> as we spill it all over the place. But you know what? Part of being in the kitchen is getting messy. That's how I look at it. So we'll try just part a little bit. Part of the fun. Bit. This is going to be the fun part because I'm not doing it in a normal blender. So oh yeah, good call. We just fun. scoop it. You know what? We'll try it later and we'll tell you how it tastes. But we've got a lot happening on the rest of the show. We'll be right back after this. So BET and Tyler Perry Studios have an incredible streaming service called BET Plus, and there are some brand new series that are being aired there. I had a conversation with Diera from Detroit all about the brand new show series. Let's take a look. It's the first day of spring and I'm so excited because that means new starts, new beginnings, and new original TV series on BET+. Plus. Joining me today is the creator and some of the cast of the brand new series, Diera from Detroit. I've got Diera Kilpatrick and John Chafin. How are you both? Hi. So hey, excited. how y'all doing? I'm great. Excited to have you both here. I was watching the trailer of this brand new series. So Diera, tell me all about it. I, can, I can't hear you, but I think you said, tell us about the show. Yes. <laughs> um, I play Diara, who is kind of a hot mess. You know, she's going through a divorce. She's having a hard time. And when she jumps back into the dating scene and meets a guy she really likes, she is promptly ghosted. And, and she tries to get to the bottom of that ghosting. She's like, I think I'm too amazing for this. What's, what's happening? And so when she goes to look for him, she discovers that he might be at the center of a mystery and he might actually be missing and so she has to pull in her friends and some of her co-workers to figure out what's going on here awesome well hopefully you can hear me a little bit better now and i, I love this series so you're from detroit originally what inspired you to write this series um you know being from detroit Man, you know, Detroiters, we love our city. So I, I've always wanted to tell stories about the city. I think it's the setting is just a character in itself. Detroiters can't help but be unabashedly themselves. And even though the city's kind of known for its dangerous elements, I find most of the people there to be pretty funny. Um, so I wanted to infuse that into, the, into a story. And I also always wanted to see a private investigator series that was driven by a woman who was in her sexuality, who was, you know, kind of fun and funny, you know, and I felt like it was time for a, a murder she wrote or a Jessica Fletcher with a little more edge. I love that. Now you mentioned danger. And so John, you play a character named Danger. Tell me all about your character. Yeah, Danger is a thug with a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, am a old friend of Diara when she comes back to the to the block, to you know, home. Uh, she's greeted by myself in uh, not so uh, precarious ways, but you get to take a journey with uh, with me and really get to see the full uh, microcosm of a of a black man. Um, we are not a monolith, you know what I'm saying. So mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun to show the both ends. So how you meet me is not necessarily how you're going to leave me at the end. I feel like the audience is going to fall in love with not just my character, but all of the characters on this show. That's great. I actually was going to ask you, what were you hoping the audience would get out of this? So the two of you worked previously together on Perry Mason. So John, what drew you to this project specifically? 
uh, Diara. I mean, point blank, period. You know what I'm saying? Exclamation. <laughs> uh, we, we played uh, brother and sister on Perry Mason, and she called me, hit me up, and was like, John, you know, I got my show. Did you read for it? And I was like, nah, but let me know about the character. She was like, he's just a real street dude from Detroit. I was like, say less. <laughs> and, uh, and Diara, she's an amazing artist, you know, writer. And I told her, I was like, look, whatever bridge you're jumping off of, I'm going to be right behind you. So I'm riding with you, whatever it is, whatever it is. So I'm happy to be here and, and, and continue to work with her and tell more stories. I love seeing that. I've actually saw this thing on social media about, you know, people that work together from project to project. And so I love knowing that that's probably enhanced the dynamic between your two characters as well. So, DR, you, um, you're passionate about writing plays as well. So congratulations on all the nominations and awards that you've received. So what are you hoping fans really get out of watching this new series? Man, I, I love a good mystery, you know, and so, and I love talking about it with my friends. So I just want people to get invested into the story, to to have some, to entertain themselves. You know, I'm a mother. At the end of the night, I have that one hour usually to spend with my husband once we get our, our kid down. And I just want people to be able to spend that hour having a good time, you know, being pulled into the mystery and laughing at these characters and just being downright entertained. It's true. I mean, watching watching the series trailer for me, I was laughing because it's comedic, but it's also like mysterious when you're following all of this detective work. So great job on that. And I can't wait to see where it actually when it actually airs. So when does it air? Where can we watch it? Give us all of the details. So it airs on March 21st on BET Plus. Yes, we are asking you to sign up for another streaming service, <laughs> but it's worth it. We promise. Um, we're asking people not to use their cousin's password, but just to, to sign up, just 5 dollars I love yeah. it. I love it. <laughs> awesome. And BET Plus is a great partnership between Tyler Perry and BET. So, I mean, it sounds like a good one to sign up for. I loved, I was entertained just watching the trailer. So I bet I'm probably going to sign up for it too. We appreciate you both and congratulations on this brand new series and uh, enjoy. And I can't wait to uh, see the reactions you get from your audience. We can't either. We've already seen a couple tweets that are really positive and people with their theories. So we're excited to hear from the from the fans and the audience as well. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna love it. Awesome. Well, dear and John, thank you so much for joining me and uh, excited for you and best of luck. Thank you so much. Now, the brand new series on BET Plus, Dara from Detroit, go check it out. It's fiction, but also based on truth. Lots of exciting things happening on that brand new streaming series. So check it out March, uh, March 21st, and it'll be on BET Plus. And we'll be right back with more on the show after this. Friday and we talked all things entertainment, brand new TV series, what's happening in Park City Film this weekend, and then getting in the kitchen and making a fun and healthy twist to milk for your coffee and beyond. I'm your host Kimberly Pro, and thanks for joining.